our audiences may vicariously experience other possibilities of aesthetic, political, and sexual freedom they lack in their own lives. This may be one of the reasons why, despite innumerable predictions over the past 30 years, performance art hasn't died, nor has it been replaced by video or made outdated by new technologies and robotics. Stellark's warning that the body was becoming obsolete turned out to be untrue. It is simply impossible to replace the ineffable magic of a pulsating, sweaty body immersed in a live ritual in front of our eyes. It's both shamanic and communal. In my opinion, no actor, robot, or virtual avatar can replace the singular spectacle of our body in action. When we witness a techno artist demonstrating a brand new robotic bodysuit or high-tech toy, after 15 minutes, once the novelty wears out, we tend to pay more attention to his sweating flesh than to his prosthetic armor and perceptual extensions. The paraphernalia is great, true, but the human body attached to the mythical identity of the performance artist remains at the center of the event.